Good morning, everybody. I'm Luca Vernaccini. I work for the Joint Research Center of the European Commission. And I would like to introduce today to uh, the inform, the risk for risk management. And uh, I will do starting showing a video. This audio? New way to measure the risk of humanitarian crises and disasters. Inform can help identify where and why a crisis might occur, which means we can reduce the risks, build people's resilience, and better prepare for when crises do happen. Inform is global. It covers 191 countries. It's open. The data and methodology are freely available, and it's reliable. It's based on the best methods and data and is regularly updated. Inform creates a risk profile for every country. Each has a rating between 0 and 10 for risk and all of its components, so it's easy to compare. You can prioritize countries by risk or any of its component parts. You can decide how best to reduce risk and monitor risk trends. Inform can be adapted for your organization or region and the same methodology can be used for national and regional risk assessment. Inform simplifies a lot of information about risk. It uses 50 different indicators to measure hazards and people's exposure to them including all the main types of natural and human hazards vulnerability, and the resources available to help people cope. And, because Inform is open source, the more organizations that use it, the more coordinated and effective we will be at reducing suffering, increasing resilience, and contributing to sustainable development. Think about how your organization could use inform. Uh, when we first uh, launched the inform uh, in a global version 2014, one of the most common questions asked was if the same methodology of a risk assessment could be implemented at a subnational level. We performed some piloting, uh, working together with local authorities and partner in some nation and country, and we had a, a good pilot and as a proof of concept. Then, since then, in the last two years, we support uh, many uh, implementation of a subnational uh, version of Inform in uh, cover all the continent in the world, in Africa, Latin America, and Asia, uh, at the national and uh, uh, regional uh, level. We call this kind of model informed subnational. Essentially, the informed subnational is works exactly the same way as the informed model, with uh, some advantages. Um, the selection of the component uh, that to describe the risk are tailored to the risk profile of the area of analysis. For instance, you can select uh, natural hazard; they are most relevant in the region and the country that you are performing analysis. Secondly, the uh, identification of the uh, indicators are much more flexible and given a priority to the national and regional data. Uh, last but most important is that inform subnational is applied at more granular uh, scale, uh, meaning that is uh, uh, applied and implemented at minimum at the first level of administrative or, or even lower. We apply uh, for the informed subnational the same principle we apply for the global. As you say before in the video, uh, the, uh, the, we guarantee the complete coverage of the area. Uh, the method and the result are open and free and, and transparent. And we, use, we try to use the most reliable data and the methodology. Um, an informed uh, you, with the result of informed subnational model looks like exactly the same of uh, informed model, 
with the exception that the risk profile is for the subnational unit rather than for uh, uh, the entire country. Uh, you can produce uh, uh, table and maps and compare comparing uh, risk across uh, the different area. With an informed subnational model, you can do exactly the same thing you can do with uh, an informed global model, like uh, prioritizing and uh, compare risk between areas and monitor trends. Uh, this can help to identify at-risk areas and to determine a major uh, driving risk factor, which can help you to decide that would uh, better manage it. Um, a key feature of an informed model is it that is developed collaboratively, um, resulting in a shared and open risk analysis uh, in, uh, can, uh, that can, can be used by different actors. Uh, this can really be useful for any decision-making process that involves a variety of uh, organizations. They can use the same platform for, for shared in the, their decision. Uh, before going into detail and uh, to explain how the development of an informed subnational model works, I would like to uh, give an example of an implementation of an informed subnational in uh, the Latin American and Caribbean region. The Latin American and Cari Caribbean region is one of the most world most prone, uh, disaster prone, and with a variety of uh, level of inform, uh, emergency response capacity. Uh, Countries are struggling uh, with a widespread poverty, uh, civil unrest, violence, and conflict. Uh, the recent drought in the dry corridor of the American Latin, uh, Latin American, compounded by the 2016 El Nino phenomenon, is one of the most destructive uh, event in the area uh, recently. Um, regional uh, humanitarian organizations are been working to ensure that response mechanisms that are developed by the international community are embedded in the effort of the government. However, the lack of a systematic information to analyze, uh, comprehend, and present the magnitude of the, of the risk and humanitarian need is a key challenge. In 2015, uh, UN OCHA and UNICEF in the region start to support a development of a first pilot of a subnational model in the region in Colombia. Uh, the Colombia model is has been implemented at the first uh, level of administrative, at the municipality level, and identify threat, vulnerability, and response capacity across the country. It includes specific components to assess the risk for adolescents and children. The result has been used in the humanitarian uh, need overview of OCHA and uh, by uh, UNICEF. Uh, planners and donors. After that, uh, together with other regional partners, OCHA and UNICEF they decided that there was a need for developing a regional model. And uh, the regional model uh, to the, the, in the aim is to help the, all the uh, action of, in preparedness and uh, prevention. Um, in the, same, in the same time, they also support uh, implementation of uh, uh, informed subnational in countries, uh, starting from Guatemala and Honduras. This is helped to have uh, a shared risk analysis uh, to look into the risk uh, for, uh, by uh, different uh, actors like the governments, regional humanitarian development organizations, and, and other uh, relevant uh, actors in the region. As a next step, uh, the, the partner will support uh, regional, sub-regional, national actors in the implementation of uh, informed sub-national. 
and they, will, uh, they aim to contribute to ongoing relevant and regional, national, and international disaster risk reduction platform and initiative, such as an alignment of the Sendai framework to the regional, sub-regional, and national resilience plan. To do it, in, they, they aim to strengthen the national risk and analysis capacity through the implementation of sub-national uh, and uh, risk uh, inform model. Uh, they um, uh, ensure that all the information are accessible uh, uh, across the region and they will promote and use and make sure that the, uh, the, the, the result has been used and, and endorsed by the major actor. Doing also to strengthen uh, partnership in the area. Coming back to uh, the, uh, how uh, an informed subnational model works uh, is actually uh, um, the, an, an initiative and an ownership that is local. Uh, so uh, many actors like uh, from government, uh, uh, from international organization in, in the region uh, or non-government uh, non, uh, uh, organization can take initiative to um, uh, initiate a, an informed subnational model. They will be the owner like, uh, and they're responsible for the implementation, for the development, and the maintenance and the promotion of a model in, the, uh, uh, in a sustainable way in the future. The first uh, um, way to do uh, an informed subnational model is to look to the uh, inform global uh, methodologic framework and uh, uh, tailor to the uh, local risk. The first two level of uh, the model, which you see in dimension and category, will be fixed across all the informal. The first phase uh, that is needed for, for, for developing an informed model is the preparation, where the local owner will assess a feasibility study, including uh, uh, looking to the resource available and the support needed. Then in the developing, uh, there will uh, be an inclusion and a, and a partnership of, of many other relevant organizations in the area and work together, organizing a, a multi-stakeholder workshop to uh, identify what are the major risk uh, element to include in the model. And then they also will go over to implement uh, uh, the, the, the model to ensure that this is sustainable and then is um, updated regularly for the use uh, needed. Uh, you can find out more on the inform website uh, where you can also find guidance and document in multi-language. And uh, please contact us if you want to implement the uh, inform model in your region and country. Thank you very much. I don't know if you have time to have maybe one or two questions. We have uh, uh, the honor to have uh, with us uh, uh, the owner of uh, of a responsible of the implementation of a, of a model in Latin America and Caribbean, then can maybe uh, also answer some questions needed. Okay, thank you very much to everybody.